this code has been able to use Jupyter Notebooks for a while now, and it's been fantastic. But now with Copilot and Agent Mode, it's even more impressive. In this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to set up your notebook environment so that it works well with Agent Mode, in addition to running one prompt and watching Agent Mode do its magic populating a notebook. And last but not least, how it handles debugging with Jupyter Notebooks. So let's go ahead and take a look. Follow these steps to have the best Jupyter Notebook environment before using Copilot and Agent Mode. Number one, create your project folder. Two, add instruction files telling Copilot exactly how you want it to behave. Three, create a .github folder and a subfolder called instructions to move it into. Four, add the extensions for Jupyter, Python, and Python environment. Five, Drop your data file into your workspace if you have it. Six, create and name the Jupyter Notebook. And finally, number seven, create your virtual environment by searching for environment, selecting Quick Create. Then in the notebook, select Kernel, choose your recommended environment, and run a simple print hello to manually execute the cell. It'll install IP Kernel, and then you are ready to go. Now that the environment's set up, let's take a look and see how Agent Mode could actually populate our notebook with a data file. This is the data file that we're going to be using. It's got some cycling metrics, so let's see how it handles it. Use Agent Mode to analyze any data file by starting the chat, clicking on the notebook, and then prompting it. Right away it goes to work to start analyzing the file and make sure that the notebook is configured correctly. Agent Mode then checks the structure of the data. Then it prompts me to run the notebook cell, which I tell it to do it all the time. Same thing for installing packages, except I say allow in workspace. And as you can see visually, the cells are being created and the data being visualized. Agent Mode does all of this back to back on its own. And when it finishes all its steps, you can see all the cells and the visualization that it generated. And when you're happy with everything, you can either keep it or undo if you need to modify something. That was awesome. But now, what about debugging? How about if I move the data file and the notebook won't be able to like locate it to actually run the cell. Let's see how agent mode handles this to fix it. Let's use agent mode to troubleshoot this Jupyter Notebooks bug that occurs when I relocate the data file, which now disables the ability of the cell to run, as you can see in this error here. But if I add cell output to chat and run a prompt that says, hey, I ran this cell and found an error, can you please troubleshoot it? It'll get right to work because it sees it's a path error, so it checks the current structure of the notebook. Then it looks for the data file in the workspace, sees it's not there, finds it, and updates the code in the cell to point to the right location in the data folder. Then it runs the cell again to see if it works with the correct path, and double checks to make sure subsequent cells also work, all done in one prompt. So that's it. Let me know in the comments what you think of Jupyter Notebooks and how it works with Agent Mode if you've experimented with it. And also, if you found this interesting, you might want to also check out this video. So that's it for now. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you got some value out of this video. And I will see you in the next one.